Should we do box office top ten? I think we should. Let's wander Bear through. Bear in mind, having been, having been away, I've seen some of them, but not all of them. But I have. what I'm trying to do is catch up with everything. So I did go and see a current release film out this week. Sadly, it was the number two offering. Anyway. Keith Lemon uh, is at number nine. So Keith Lemon has dropped down to number nine from, where was it last week? Was it number two or number three? It seems to have sort of, sort of plummeted, and hopefully, hopefully next week it'll be out of the top ten. I mean, I thought it was just a horrible, fungal mess of a movie, and uh, as I said last week, I, I just enjoyed rooting around in the scrunge down the side of the cinema seat attempting to retrieve a lost 5p piece more than I did watching the film. It, 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 it is shockingly terrible. There's no point in getting cross about it. The only thing that I'm cross about is that when I came back, I said, OK, I'm going to try and catch up with the movies that have been out while I'm away. And everybody said, oh, go and see uh, Keith Lemon the film. I have yet to hear anyone, 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 anyone say that they saw it and enjoyed it. Last week I issued a challenge for somebody to tell me that they'd seen it and enjoyed it. It seemed to me that people only told me to go and see it because they knew how unpleasant it would be. It was every bit as unpleasant as they'd expected. Do you have any messages from anyone out there in listening land who actually enjoyed it, Simon? Alexander Stanbury on an email. Oh, you're kidding. My mother recently dragged me to our local world of Cine to see the Keith Lemon movie. She's 63, I'm 32. Whilst I do enjoy uh, Lee Francis, I was a bit reluctant to sit through the entire movie. However, the fundamental truth is that some people like filthy humour, regardless of age or gender. And where Lee Francis goes, there's always a host of celebrities not far behind. There is something wonderfully grotesque about his take on Mel B or his fawning over Kelly Brooks' assets. We live in such a pornographic society and Francis' characters are an accurate reflection the way we fetishise parts of the body, fame and celebrity. To me, this film wasn't hugely unlike the Borat movie, but sadly aimed at people who probably don't get what the lead comedian is trying to send up. Perhaps this is because he does this with too much affection for his celebrity cohorts. As the good junior Dr King pointed out, he clearly needs much better writers. Uh, that's Alex. Yeah, so that's not more... somebody saying they enjoyed it. No, no, I'm just sort of giving context. Yeah, Aid, no, that's really, Aidan that's Martin in Gravesend.